Let's stay with Stacy Slade and Hazy here. I want to show a little bit about how I start teaching a puppy to heal. I have really yummy treats. They are uh, Pure Vita Fresh. Uh, they are like little smushable uh, little pieces of dog food, fresh dog food, so I can smush them in my hands and give her little pieces of them as we go. And I'm just formulating a habit of where heel position is. So I get her in here with luring into heel position. I give her a little piece of food. She has worked on this before, so she knows to sit. And I will start working with her hazy heel. Good. Good girl. So just luring her in this position and we stop and we sit. So I lure her into a straight sit. That's a very straight sit. Good girl. So I'm going to show you how you can also lure them into a uh, crooked sit. So if I have my food pinned to my knee right here, she's going to sit with her butt out like she did here. If I take a step forward and move the food right here in the middle, she's going to sit straight. So here, she's going to sit with her butt straighted out or pushed out that way. If I have it too far out here, she's going to sit looking that way. So I want to make sure that I'm teaching her correctly to come in straight. So hazy heel. Yeah, good girl. Good heel. Yes. Good heel. Good girl. So I come in. Good girl. Good heel. Good girl, good heel. So, and then I use the term get in. Uh, some people use line up or, I don't know, there's all sorts of terms you can use to get your dog in heel position. I use the word heel when I'm healing. And then to get in heel position, I say get in. And so I'm gonna teach her, get in is the sit in heel position. So that's my get in. So I'll work with that. I say, get in. Yeah, good girl. Good get in. Good get in. Easy. Heel. Good. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good heel. Yeah, good girl. And I will also, you make sure you get down and you give them good loves that you're loving on them. Come here, Easy and that you're having fun. The next thing I wanted to show is a little leash control, which will be hard for me to show in here because there's not many distractions in the backyard. Um, but I wanted to show the thought, ah, 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 that's my hand. I wanted to show the thought process behind teaching your dog to be on a loose lead and to come back to you. So I'm gonna use some things where I throw food and then she goes and gets it and I'll show you like that's a distraction. So I'll start over here and I'll throw a piece of food. She'll go over there, Hazy, come, Hazy, Hazy, come, yay! I use the term come because I can enforce it because she's on a leash. She doesn't know it well enough if I use it in my yard that she may or may not come and I can't enforce it so I'm not gonna use it when I don't have a leash on. So I'm gonna do that again. Hazy, come, Hazy, Hazy, yeah! Good girl. So I bring her in front to a sit, like a recall, but I'm teaching her come in a way that I can reinforce it. So I do this over and over, and it's good to do it when you're out on walks and she has natural distractions that aren't food and aren't in your own backyard, because that's teaching a good behavior. Hazy, good girl. Hazy, come, 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 come. Yeah, good come. So I'm reinforcing the word come giving her a piece of food so when they go when she goes gets distracted and goes out hazy come good and i'm not jerking her leash i'm not putting any tension on it it's super loose but if she were to keep going after something i can call her back to me and i can reinforce it with a slight guiding of the leash with her so that's how i teach come hazy come good yay when she turns around and gives me eye contact, that's when I say, yeah, that's right, yeah. And I tell her she's doing the right thing by looking at me and coming towards me. So that starts the calm. I don't use the term unless I have a leash on her. Um, and that's true for my older dogs. Until they know to come and I know that they're gonna come, 
I don't use that term so I can just say, come, 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 and they're off running, ignoring me. Hazy, come. Good. Yeah, good come. So you only want to use the term when you can enforce it. If not, if like Hazy's out here playing with Deuce and Chase, I'll just use her name. I'll say, Hazy, Hazy, Hazy. And then if she comes, awesome. She gets treats. She understands that when I call her name, that she's gonna get rewarded. And eventually that behavior gets into a routine which she continuously goes for. Um, down. Go oh, down. Good girl. She was about ready to jump on me, so I gave her the down command instead to think about not jumping on me. So that's a way I can do direct, redirect her. Good, see, she wanted to jump on me again and so she laid down, so I'm creating a behavior. Ah. She's gonna probably lay down. She knows she gets a reward when she lays down. So I'm teaching her instead of jumping up on me, I want her to lay down. A jumping up uh, idea is very strong in her head. She loves to jump on me and the other dog. So uh, that's a few things that I'm working with on her. She's got an awesome down already at four months. I'm pretty proud of her. So. Happy training. Please subscribe to the channel and enjoy working with your puppies.